We are able to watch some video recordings in the movies starting. The video recordings were of a small child Kayla. And this video was recorded by Kayla's mummy and dad. Kayla's mummy was named Rebecca and her dad was the J. Looking at the video recordings, it seems that this is a happy family. And all three are very happy in this family. After this, we are able to see the scene of the direct present in which Kayla's age has passed. Kayla's mom and dad have both divorced in the present. And Rebecca and Jay were happy with the decision to divorce. But Kayla was not at all happy. So we see Kayla is very sad in this scene and Kayla's mummy lives with her boyfriend currently. Just now Rebecca leaves Kayla to her ex-husband Jay's house. On the other side, Jay has also moved on with his girlfriend. So, Rebecca leaves her daughter at her father's house and she leaves for her work. And before leaving, Jay is told to leave her daughter to ballerina class. Here, we need to know one more thing about Kayla. Kayla is an asthma patient. Because of this, she carries an inhaler with her at all times. Jay, which means Kayla's father, is a musician and has a music band of his own. And on the other side, Rebecca is a lawyer. And Rebecca is financially very strong. Because of this Kayla stays with her mom. After the divorce, Rebecca and Jay are happy enough and busy in their lives. But Kayla is not at all happy to be away from her dad, she seems to be always sad. So Rebecca leaves for work, and Jay takes Kayla to ballet class. While they were both going, Kayla suddenly finds Brittany on the way. Brittany is Kayla's close friend. And Brittany was also going to the ballerina class. Brittany was standing on a lonely path, as her dad was not there to leave her for her ballet class. So now, they all three were going to the class together, on the way, both the girls went to take a bathroom break. Jay had been waiting for both of them for a long time. Then suddenly Jay goes inside of the forest to find them both. Jay was looking for both of them, suddenly he sees Kayla. Kayla weeps, as she tells her dad that her friend Brittany has fallen into the river. Hearing this, Jay starts to look around and started finding Brittany. But Brittany was not found, even after much searching. Kayla, meanwhile, gets Brittany's purse. Kayla picks up the purse and keeps it in their car later. On the other side, Jay started panicking and goes to call the police. But Kayla comes from behind. And she told her father that she has hit Brittany. Brittany was not treating her well. That's why Kayla thrown Brittany into the river. And with this, starts the real story of the movie. Jay realizes that he should have called the police. But he did not do that. Not only that, both of them run away from there, leaving Brittany behind. Brittany could probably be alive. But Jay thought of saving his daughter. And this was his first mistake. Someone who tries to hide a murder is also called a criminal. But what can Jay do? Kayla is his only daughter after all. Meanwhile, Kayla accidentally throws her inhaler on the way. Because of which her health later becomes very bad. Jay goes to Rebecca's office with Kayla. Rebecca became very angry at first and was shouting that why did her daughter miss the ballet class? The inhaler was also lost from her which is crucial. Rebecca gets angry at Jay. Why couldn't he manage his daughter for some time? After this, the three goes to Rebecca's house. Rebecca was suspecting that something was wrong, as Jay and Kayla both looked very tensed and upset. Jay tried hard to hide everything from Rebecca. But he could not. Later Kayla told her everything. Rebecca became mentally imbalanced after hearing everything. She went into depression. She did not know anything. How to come out of this situation. Both Rebecca and Jay wanted Kayla to be saved. But both of them didn't know how. Rebecca first decides that she will go to that river to find Brittany. But Jay stops Rebecca, saying that she should think about saving her daughter. After this, we can see the scene of the next day. Jay goes to Rebecca's house to meet his daughter. Both of them were still depressed. On the other side, Kayla was looking absolutely fine, there was no feeling that something bad has happened. Rebecca also does not like Kayla's expression. After all, Kayla made a big mistake. Then Rebecca and Jay were talking about the incident that happened with them. They were both upset about Kayla and her behavior. Kayla overhears this and leaves the house. Then her mom and dad went to stop her, but Kayla starts to create scenes even angrily. Jay later leaves after getting upset with Kayla's behavior. 
After Jay left, Rebecca and Kayla were sitting at home alone. Suddenly someone comes to their house. He was Brittany's dad, Sam. Sam asks Rebecca about Brittany. As he knows that Brittany and Kayla both have not gone to school for ballet class. So maybe they are both together, but Rebecca denies that Kayla is not at home. She has gone to the doctor with her dad. Her health is not well. Because of this she has not gone to ballet school. Sam leaves his number to Rebecca before leaving. So that Rebecca can get Kayla to talk to Sam when Kayla comes home. Rebecca smiles and says she will do the same. Then Sam leaves after hearing this. Rebecca becomes even tenser after Sam's gone. And starts calling Jay. But Jay's phone switch was coming off. Rebecca was alone in tension. On the other side, Sam called Rebecca and was calling again and again. As he was also worried about his daughter. But Rebecca was not receiving Sam's phone. Rebecca felt that the situation was slowly deteriorating. Finally, Rebecca gives Kayla the phone and tells her to speak to Brittany's father. But she was not ready to talk. She also showed anger from above. Rebecca was shocked as Kayla's reaction does not look good at all. She feels that they have made a mistake by not telling the police about this incident. As Kayla's immature behavior could not be tolerated anymore. After this, the room bell rings. And Rebecca feels that the Sam may have come back, as she did not pick up the phone. But fortunately, it was not Sam, it was the Jay. Rebecca feels relieved after seeing Jay. Jay tells her that his phone has also fallen into the same river. Where he went to find Brittany. And he has taken a new phone. After knowing this, Rebecca speaks all about Sam. And after listening to everything, both of them decide that, until this incident calms down, they will all stay together in a hotel somewhere else and will leave this place for a few days. They were just about to leave the place. Then suddenly Rebecca meets up with Sam again. Sam tells her that he tried to call Rebecca many times but she didn't pick up. Then, Sam again wanted to speak to Kayla. But Rebecca again said the same thing this time. By saying, Kayla is still not home. She is still in the hospital. Her test is going on and she will not come now. After hearing this, Sam became upset and was just about to leave. Then suddenly he finds Kayla and Jay inside. Sam then starts suspecting and asks what are these three hiding from him? Rebecca and Jay say nothing, they keep quiet. This scene of the film was the most dangerous and awkward. Sam doesn't get an answer from Rebecca, so he goes aggressively to Kayla. Jay goes to stop them, meanwhile, they get hurt. Before leaving, Sam threatened the three of them that he would tell the police. Hearing this they all became shocked. And now no one can stop him from talking to the police. After this, all three came inside the house, then Rebecca gives first aid to Jay because Jay got hurt due to Sam. And in the meantime there was a lot of talking and laughter between Rebecca and her ex-husband, Jay. Kayla heard both of them laughing from outside. And Kayla feels good after a long time from this. Kayla was confused and depressed after the divorce. She was also mad at her parents, but she could never speak it. After this, Rebecca and Jay were talking about how to avoid the police. They both had an idea. Rebecca had a friend in the police department. Her name is Kenji. On the day when Brittany was sitting in the car for the last time, both Jay and Kayla noticed a scar on Brittany's cheek. That mark could have been anything but Rebecca and Jay created this story, that they would both go to the police and say that Sam, meant, Brittany's dad, is an aggressive person, who raises hands on his daughter. And because of this nature of Sam, he also beat them up after coming to their house. Rebecca creates this story and goes to Kenji the next day. That means, after killing someone's daughter, Rebecca complains against her father to save themselves. This means these parents were making mistakes one after another to save their daughter. Then Kenji comes to their house to talk to Kayla. Kayla also lies about everything against Sam, according to the planning of her parents. Kayla had spoken such a good false story, even her parents were shocked to see her. Kenji then tells Rebecca that Sam has not written any diary entries about Brittany's missing. This means Rebecca has mistakenly dragged the police into this case by overthinking. Despite not wanting. Now, the police will keep an eye on this case. The next day, the police go to Sam's house and interrogate him a lot. However, the police do not find any evidence against Sam. 
On the other side Jay took Kayla to his home, where Jay's girlfriend was also present. Jay's girlfriend found Brittany's purse on his car, which Kayla picked up from the side of the river. Jay also gets a phone from Brittany's purse, which was unfortunately switched on by Jay's girlfriend. Right now, Jay gets into a fight with his girlfriend about this purse. Seeing this quarrel, Kayla gets upset and leaves the house and walks alone outside. Meanwhile, Rebecca meets Kenji. Kenji speaks to Rebecca that all the cases she had made against Sam have proved to be lies. Sam's neighbors have confirmed that he is a good man. Not only this, Brittany's phone has been tracked by the police, whose last location is showing near Jay's house. After hearing all this, Rebecca gets nervous and leaves from there. But Rebecca is almost trapped. On the other side, Kayla was walking home alone, then suddenly Kayla found Sam on the way. Sam talks to Kayla in a little rude way and pressurizes her if she knows anything about Brittany. But Kayla without answering anything starts running from there. But Sam also didn't leave Kayla so easily. He also follows Kayla at her house. Kayla realizes that Sam is peeping at her from the window. And after seeing this, she gets an asthma attack. After this incident, Rebecca finds Kayla unconscious when she comes home. Then when Jay returns, Rebecca tells him that the police are suspecting him. On the other side, Kenji goes to the same bus stop, where Kayla picks up Brittany for school. Kenji checks that place thoroughly and the next day Kenji goes to Rebecca's house. Kenji next day asks Rebecca and Jay repeatedly whether Kayla ever went that way. But Rebecca and Jay say repeatedly to the police that those people do not know about that place. Kenji speaks more, that she also checked Brittany's emails, where the police get a mail from Kayla, where Kayla threatened Brittany to kill her. Because Brittany stole Kayla's boyfriend. After hearing this, Kayla's parents became very shocked. They both understood why Kayla killed Brittany after all. But both of them take this thing casually and start laughing in front of the police. Then Kenji asks them both once more before leaving, whether Kayla ever went in front of that bus stop, but they both deny this time too. Kenji then shows both of them Kayla's inhaler, which she got from that place. Kenji speaks out that the police team has gone everywhere to find Brittany. And there is not much time left for those people to speak the truth. After hearing this, they got more upset, as they both became liars in front of the police. Now, along with Kayla, both of them are going to jail. Because by involving police in all these, they have trapped themselves. Even after all this, Jay did not want to give up, there were still some plans going on in his mind. So Rebecca and Jay go in front of Sam's house at night. And the purse that Jay had, is being buried in front of Sam's house so that the whole doubt goes to Brittany's dad. Both of them had almost become successful in doing this work but in the end, all this becomes a mess as Sam catches them both. Right now both of them thought that Sam had come to know everything, that both of them came to do something bad in front of his house. So, Jay has a lot of fights with Sam to save themselves and Jay was also about to kill Sam, then finally Rebecca forces Sam in front of the car and kills him. This incident shows how a parent can do anything to save their child. Previously Kayla was a killer, now her parents were also murdered. But they did not commit this murder intentionally. Only, and only, to save their daughter, and in great frustration they took this wrong step. After that, both of them come home, but the burden of this murder had started eating them both from inside. Next day in the morning Kayla was looking fine as usual, she was laughing happily even after killing her friend. But on the other side, the condition of her parents had deteriorated completely. After this, we see Rebecca and Jay cleaning their car together. There was a lot of blood in front of the car, because last night when both of them hit Sam, after killing Sam, all his blood was splashed in front of the car. So, Rebecca and Jay were cleaning the car, both were alive from the outside, but were already exhausted inside. That is when Brittany suddenly comes back alive. Yes, Brittany was alive. And Brittany says that, Brittany had to go to her boyfriend for a few days, she could not speak to her father, so Kayla and Brittany got together and made this plan. Rebecca is unable to answer even after hearing this. She just tells Brittany to leave, Brittany then notices that there is a lot of blood in the front of the car, and Jay is wiping the blood with a cloth. After seeing the blood, Brittany also gets very nervous, she understands that something is wrong here. 
Then Brittany escapes from there. And maybe she went to call the police. After this Rebecca and Jay go to Kayla. Both of them were about to ask Kayla that Kayla herself came to them and spoke the whole thing. And she also says that she didn't want to do it all, at first she wanted to tell the truth to them, but later Kayla enjoyed doing it all because she noticed, after many days, her mom and dad, again started living together. Kayla wanted to be with her mom and dad, and she missed them both. If Kayla had spoken to the two of them, that Brittany is alive, and that she had done nothing to Brittany, it was just a plan, then her parents would have split up again, and would have not stayed with Kayla. So she continued this lie. After listening to all this, Rebecca and Jay had no words, because, amid all these lies, they had both committed a huge crime. Kayla's dream of living with her mom and dad, will probably never be fulfilled, as the police will never forgive the two of them for the bloodshed. Both of them cannot speak anything to their daughter. Only the three were hugging each other simultaneously. After this, we can hear the sound of the siren of the police car from a distance. Meaning the police came to know about Sam's murder and had come to pick them up. And then the movie ends. So, how did you guys feel about this movie of today? I hope you will like the story of this movie. To know the story of any such mystery, psycho killer or horror movie, subscribe to my channel. So that you guys can see the same story and movie explanation video again.